Tom Kelly is not unusual because he grows a tropical forest indoors, nor is he unusual because he keeps a live five-foot-long alligator in his basement. He is unusual because he locates old phonograph records, anything from around 1900 to 1960. Like many people, he bought a lot of records as a teenager, and from there, it's sort of mushroomed. I have approximately 100,000 records altogether, of which about 70,000 or 78 RPM records, which, of course, stopped being made in 1959, I think was the last year for those. I could have a record that's 75 years old that nobody wants, and therefore it's old, but it's not, you know, valuable. And there again, they have records that have come out in the last several years, you know, that have all of a sudden uh, gone out of print real quickly or a short pressing or something. And these records, of course, have jumped up in price, you know, substantially. Kelly won't part with a record if he finds that he has just one copy, but for a small fee, he will tape it. I, uh, I charge generally a dollar to record a record just because of the time involved in, in uh, doing so, you know, and listening back, make sure it comes out all right. But I prefer really to sell the records if I can because it's less work for me, number one, and number two, the person has the actual record, you know, if possible. An elderly woman once called Kelly saying she didn't have long to live and would like to hear a certain Al Jolson song she hadn't heard since she was a young girl. Kelly made her day by playing it over the phone. He says many people develop a passion for particular songs. His is just larger than others. Mike Stroot, News Center 2 in South County. Yeah.